of the first hedgehogs I found this season. And I thought I'd discuss a little bit about gear. All this and more today on the Tattooed Granny Channel. Welcome to Southern Paddle Moraine in Eagle, Wisconsin. This is a state forest where you can pick mushrooms and see beautiful natural springs bubble up from the sand. Join me today. From this nature's bounty, wild blackberries today. Still upon a ripened patch. This whole patch is loaded with blackberries. Depends if I want to pick them. <laughs> yep, the temperatures are coming up. Oh yeah. yeah. Beautiful shanties. What's going on? Those kettles are popping. This grouping of uh, Centurella spasmatis in the Centurella here. Yeah? They like the same trees as the hedgehogs. Your white oak, your red oak. Okay, so I think these are the first hedgehogs I found this season. Uh, the genus Hydnum, Hydnum. And there's two subspecies that are real common in Wisconsin. Umbiculatum, which is this one, the small one, and Rapandum, the large one that's found more north of here. That can get the size of a dinner plate. Let's see if I'm right. Yes. Look at the spines. These are edible. They have um, a texture and a sweetness like a chanterelle. They are so good. A little bit of a brown sugar finish. I highly recommend these. Super good. So, got our first two little guys for the pot. A little field cleaning and we're golden. Natural spring fed trout pond. And then we gotta go walk that plank. <laughs> Pretty solid. I thought it was gonna be like oh, it's a little wiggly. <laughs> we made it. We made it. This side usually has mushrooms. Oh beautiful. Hey everybody, I just finished my sweaty walk and I thought I'd discuss a little bit about gear for summer mushroom hunting. You definitely want to have water, your knives, some type of aerated basket. I like a scissors for chanterelle, uh, for black trumpets and um, an opinel for lobsters and chanterelles. This, um, You've seen me wear this before. <laughs> it's a hat bug net. This goes over your head. There's a tie inside and there's air vents in the top. And this prevents black flies, um, deer flies, mosquitoes from getting on you. I put it in the plastic bag. Um, the, the plastic bag doubles as protection against dirty mushrooms, boom. And also, if it rains, my cell phone, which is another thing you should have, can go in there, protects it. Um, a hair tie. I have long enough hair that I can uh, wear a baseball cap, ponytail. A long sleeve shirt. This is a denim one that um, I bought at like a Farm Fleet or a Dick Sporting Goods, cheap, in the men's section, big, big size. Um, you definitely want your basket or bag. I have a hiking stick. On it, I have a little $3 item, um, which has a compass, a whistle, 
my temperature gauge. And that's pretty much all of it. Um, you know, you can get fancy, but I just like, if I'm not sure where I am, I mark my car and make sure I have a cell phone signal. And I orient myself with the compass. So that if I go off trail, I can head back. And on a sunny day, it's easy because, you know, you know, the sun rises in the east, sets in the west. So bug spray, I put it on the clothing. I have a clothing treatment. Um, these pants I get at Army Surplus. They are awesome for like 20 bucks. They rip, but look, they've got a second layer in there. And a lot of times um, they have padding in the knees. Lots of pockets for all kinds of stuff, like my GoPro, my phone, um, things like that. So that's sort of um, what I do. I use the Sawyer's uh, clothing treatment. It's a pyrethrin treatment. You can get it at Walmart for $14.99. Make sure you're not allergic. Um, you soak the clothes and then the bugs die that come in contact with it. Great to keep the ticks off. Here are my um, Las Sportivas. Uh, they have a little ankle support. They're waterproof. They have Gore-Tex in them. Great for morale season when you're wading around in the creeks. Okay. So I didn't pick a ton of mushrooms today because I have plenty at home frozen. But I did pick a small handful, the first sweet tooths of the season and a couple chanterelles. And what I'm going to do, I have um, nice sockeye salmon at home. I'm going to make a cream dill sauce. I'm going to saute these mushrooms and then I'm going to blend them with an immersion blender. Um, and make a nice emulsion, a nice, nice cream sauce with dill to put over my fish. Um, you could do a crispy fried um, sweet tooths as well. That's delicious as a garnish. Um, but I like how the flavor infuses with heavy cream and butter. It's good. And then you just pour it over the fish, maybe top of the little fresh chives or dill. So later you're gonna see me make that. And basically it's just, you know, saute these mushrooms until they're done. Add, um, it's a tablespoon of flour to a tablespoon of butter. That makes a roux. You, you keep cooking that and it gets sort of brown and nutty. You pour your milk in or your heavy cream, keep simmering and it will thicken. And you add your herbs, you know, your mushrooms back in, whatever, and top your beautiful fish. So that's just a little tip of how to use just a few mushrooms when that's all you find. Um, you can make a yummy sauce. So here you go. That's the gear again. Gear in review. Optimum for chanterelles, sweet tooth, or hedgehog, but fungi as they're known. Sizzling and butter. One tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of flour. Brown them. Add milk and dill weaner. Got a roux, and this is going to thicken nicely. Pour this over our fish. Seared wild sockeye salmon from Alaska, creamy dill sauce with lobster mushrooms, hedgehog slash sweet tooth, and beautiful buttery chanterelles. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this or even learned a little something, please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Be the slow.